What's up guys, today I'm going to uh, give an update on my Roomba. Got a kit that will let me change out all of the maintenance items on this unit. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that. These kits are available on Amazon very inexpensively uh, and it's uh, good maintenance to keep your vacuum working uh, as designed. So let's go ahead and dig into it. First, I'll show you what this kit comes with. You're gonna have vacuum bags that will go in the tower. You'll also have these side brushes. You only need one for this unit. You can save the other ones for the next time that maintenance is required. You've also got four of these uh, bin filters and I'll show you where those go. And then lastly, you're gonna have two rollers uh, these things kind of get cut up after a bunch of use. Uh, you'll see that like uh, pet hair will get into these. It'll kind of cut up the rollers. Uh, they'll also get folded over, so it's really nice to replace these. So I'll show you where all this stuff goes. Okay, first we are going to replace the bag. I'm assuming that many people have done this before, but there's just a little tab. This will go in in this direction like this show you where this goes right here just like this it goes directly in just like that and I like to pull out the bag a little bit and if it's not installed all the way down you'll see how it kind of just pop back up this has got to be installed all the way down for this plunger to seat on that and once it can seat that means it's installed all the way if this is up a little bit it's not in the right place won't shut so you want to make sure that it shuts okay next up is the vacuum itself you can go ahead and flip it over you'll see here that mine's got actually it's got a tear right here it's also got a bunch of hair kind of around here we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this step first that just goes right there this kit does come with a screwdriver. Um, if you've got one that's the right size, maybe easier with your screwdriver, just because the one that comes with the kit is quite small, but it does come with one if you don't have one. So you go ahead and spin this out, and then this will just pop right off. And if there's a bunch of stuff wrapped around it, it's gonna be a little bit kind of, uh, firmly planted on there. So you can go ahead, take the brush, kind of clean around it, just like that. And then you wanna seat it right on top. Push down, you're screwing it in, holding the bristles so that you can tighten it. You don't have to go wild on it. You don't have to tighten it a whole, a whole bunch. Just uh, hold it steady while you're doing that. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna replace is gonna be the uh, bin filter. Now, if you look at this bin filter, you'll actually be able to see that it's got the no water sign. This is right here. There is a, a button right here. You press that button and that releases the bin. And it's a good opportunity to clean it out if you've got stuff kind of in here. Good opportunity to clean this pet hair out. If you've got a pet, stuff will kind of get in there. And you'll see that your uh, filter is right here. These are relatively easy to pop out. You just squeeze and pull it out. You'll see this one is very dirty, so it's definitely time to uh, replace this. I'm gonna go ahead and clean out this bin before I put it back together. Okay, with the uh, bin cleared out, you're just gonna install this the same way. So you take it right here and you push it in and there'll be these two little tabs when it's all the way in. Um, that's it, you just push it, push it back in and that's it. We can go ahead and reinstall this. And now we'll go ahead and install these new rollers. And to do this, you just 
pull up on this little green tab right here and it's gonna release this carrier and this will let you pull out uh, these, these two things here. You'll see mine are super loaded up with stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and take them out and you wanna make sure that you put them back in the, the uh, same way and it will be kind of impossible for you to do it wrong because you'll see that one roller has a square and one has this hexagon shape to make sure that you can only put it in one way. Um, the only thing to note uh, is you've got to have the right orientation uh, between side to side. So for this one, uh, we're going to go ahead and put this back in the same way. I'll take a second, just clean out the edges a little bit, get a little bit better angle here. You'll see that there are some uh, bearings that go into these right here. And then on the bottom side, this is static and it will slot down into here. And with this, I found that this one's pretty tight in here. So you've really got to line it up. And then there's a little tab up here that you can kind of pull back to get this to slide in properly. same thing. Okay. Let it sit down just like that and then close it back up and then we'll go ahead and test it but you can kind of see they're rolling properly and then we'll go ahead and give this a test run check the app and see that it is working as designed.